In this video, we're turning a Power Wheels car into an RC car. If you're looking for a science fair project idea, this will get you first place over those baking soda volcanoes. If you need additional help with wiring the car, I've made another video that provides a step-by-step -step guide on how to wire the Power Wheels, and I also have another video detailing how the linear actuator and motor are controlled by the RC transmitter. Let's have a closer look at this jumble of wires. Okay, let's get started. Here we have our two cell LiPo battery, which is powering our ESC or our electronic speed control. When we hit the throttle on our RC transmitter, it will send a signal to our RC receiver, which will go to the ESC and then to the motors. When we use our RC transmitter to turn their wheels, the signal also goes to the RC receiver. That signal then travels all the way up to the actuator, which is at the front of the car, causing the wheels to turn. And the battery for the actuator is located here in the back, but the actuator is actually located in the front. I've ran a positive and negative wire along with the servo extension wires for the RC receiver from the front to the back, and they come in right here and then they plug into the battery and the servo extension line is right here and connects to the RC receiver. Let's flip the car over and have a look at the wiring and the linear actuator. I wanted to show you how I mounted the actuator. I drilled two holes, the first here and the other here. So in just a minute, this will go down and then I'll use the screw to go through this hole. So here's the max length of the actuator. See, I need to customize the trim, so I'm gonna reduce it just a little bit. And now I can also reduce the duration or length that the actuator travels. So now let's see if my new custom settings on how far it goes. So that's perfect. That's what I need for this. Okay, let's see how it handles. Since we have it upside down, let's also check the throttle. <laughs> 